It is James time. I did not think I was going to be going live today. I did not think that. But I am. Yes, I am. What is good, fam? Man, what a last crazy 24 hours. I swear I keep saying that every day lately. But oh my gosh, guys, like, do I have some stories for you guys? Holy crap. The really cool thing is I decided that I'm going to start vlogging. And I actually vlogged all day today, and I'm really glad I did. Like, of all days to start vlogging, today was the freaking right day. But, um, you know, I didn't plan on doing this live stream, guys. Um, Chelsea's going to live stream later, and it's going to be dope because... We're going to take the haunted doll that's in the attic, and we're going to take it out of the attic for the first time. And um, it's going to be crazy. She's going to do a spirit box session with it, and then she's going to need your help because we need to give it a name, and you'll see why. So, Chelsea's going to go live. I think I, I think she already put it up. I think it's at 10 o'clock, though. So, make sure you guys are there because it's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, anyhow... Let's get right into it, guys. So, if you've been following me on Twitter, I say this a lot too. So, if you miss me on Twitter, you got to get on there. You probably know partially what's going. Well, you probably know a lot that's going on. So, it all started last night after my live stream when, basically, I don't know what possessed me to call the airlines, but I called the airlines and said, um, basically, is there something? Because I swear I read something about taking a COVID test and, uh, you know, because of Connecticut's laws. And um, I called up and I said, yep, I'm supposed to be flying out tomorrow. And Well, you know, tomorrow now. And, um, you know, is there something I need to do um, besides bring my ID? And he's basically like when you get to the airport, they're going to check your temperature. And, uh that's it and I'm like okay like I don't need to have like a COVID test or anything because I, I swear I seen something like that online and he's like nope don't need a COVID test and I'm like oh oh good thanks because I was talking to Chelsea I was stressing out man I'm like that would suck well about 30 minutes later I get a call from my 800 number I'm like who the hell's calling me right now it was the guy I just spoke to from the airline 30 minutes before you. Hello, sir. Yeah, I just need to call you back. I really apologize. I made a mistake. And actually, big shout out to Spirit for actually calling me back in and saying that they made a mistake. A lot of places wouldn't have done that, and I would have been screwed. So that, I, I really give him a lot of props for, for owning his mistake. But he basically said, yes, you're going to need to take a COVID test before you are allowed on the plane. Now... What does that entail? Well, they're very specific in Connecticut. And it, 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 basically, it's not... If you're flying into Connecticut, not every state has to do this. But Florida happens to be one of the states you have to do this. You have to take a COVID test within 72 hours of the flight. 72 hours of the flight. So... Okay, 72 hours of the flight. That's interesting. Okay, well, what the hell do I do now? I was like, I don't really want to take no damn COVID test, but, like, I got to film. Like, I got to go on this trip. So I started looking online, and every place that I was finding, they wanted, like, 100 and something bucks. Then I found at, uh, what was it, Walmart or Walgreens? One of those two. They had, it was for free. And it was funny because when I went onto the website, I asked a bunch of questions. Do you have any fevers? Do you, know, you have any symptoms? And I put, no, 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 no. And then it said, you are not eligible for this test. You have to pay $149. So I went back and then it asked if I had uh, issues. And I'm like, yep, yep, yep. And then it said, I'm free for the eligible test. So that was interesting. So I made an appointment. And uh, at 8 a.m., Chelsea and I went over there this morning. And I was really dreading it, man, because honestly, getting a freaking swab stuck up my nose and all the way back into my throat does not sound very pleasant to me, especially when I know I ain't sick. So, and let me tell you something too, guys. Sometimes in life, bad things happen. Sometimes we overreact, sometimes we freak out, but we actually don't trust 
in God. We don't trust in the plan. Sometimes we don't have enough patience to wait to see if what's really meant to happen, what's really meant to be, what and I need to, I need to put do not stir burn. And uh, I definitely did not do that because I was freaking out this morning. Anyhow, we go to get the test and I asked the lady, um, basically, when do I get the results back? She said three to four days. Well, the flight's tomorrow, so that ain't gonna work. So she's like, you might wanna try, you know, the other place called, went over there, three or four days. How is it that every single place I check, like six of them is all three or four days to get the results? Could be sooner, but three or four days. So basically that means even if I did it 72 hours before the flight, there's a very good chance that by the time I get to the airport, they still don't have the results. Pretty dumb, if you ask me. So then I'm like, okay, well, I guess they have these rapid tests that are much quicker. I found a couple places that did it, but they wanted $250 to do it. 250 bucks, man. To freaking have a swab stuck up your nose like let me tell you something for them to do a test it probably cost, cost them a few dollars they're charging 250 dollars how are they allowed to profit that much money on a pandemic thing that's just stupid like i don't know if you guys would agree with that but that is horrible and i'm gonna read your comments in a minute but i gotta get this out first so i was like that's it man i'm not going i put a thing on twitter and a fam actually responded and said, hey, James, why don't we help you raise the money? I'll throw in 10 bucks. And I responded. And I'm like, listen, I ain't spending my $250 on it. And I sure as hell ain't spending my fam's $250 on it. That's just not, not going to happen. So at that point, I realized the trip's over. Can't go. It's done. So that was, that was the end of that. Well, about an hour or two later... Chelsea and I were talking and she's like so what are you gonna do and I'm like I have to film like I need to film some bangers man the fam is ready we got I mean I am so ready to, to do this and the thing that sucks is I had all these places planned out up in Connecticut you know well again should have just had some patience and know that God would basically you know what was meant to be was gonna be and it was gonna be way better so Chelsea basically said, well, where can you film? And I'm thinking there's really not many places because I can't really fly there, stay at a place every night, take Airbnb, or not Airbnb, take a lift all over the place. That'd be way too much money. So that's not going to happen. And then I'm like, I have a couple options. I could go to Colorado and my boy Richard, the steel one is out there and George Contreras. Um, but the thing is like Chelsea and I want to go to Denver together. And um, Chelsea is busy with her project, and you guys will find out some of that, that maybe tonight. <laughs> um, and the other option was to go to fly into Indianapolis, Indiana. And you guys know who is in that area, and that is the homie Davros Vonskalos. You guys know Davros. He's always in our, he's probably here right now, I'm sure. Davros is always around. And I basically said, hey, Davros, um, man, uh, what you doing this next week, man? And I'm thinking, man, he's probably working or something. And he's like, nothing. I ain't doing anything, man. I ain't working or nothing. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. And he's like, why? I was like, well, th this trip didn't work out. And I'm thinking about taking another trip because in Indiana, they don't have those rules. You don't have to take a COVID test to go there. So he goes... I was thinking about coming up there. And he goes, well, I know somebody that lives in this area. <laughs> I'm like, I know. <laughs> and uh, basically, I talked to him for a little bit. And I went online. I changed my flight. It cost me $7 extra, which is not bad. Instead of leaving tomorrow, I'm actually going to be leaving Friday. But I'm going to actually stay for over a week, like probably 10 days. Now, the best part is yet to come. Um, I've always talked about the slippery noodle when we were there um, really quick that night when I just did a quick walkthrough the guy Marty there said that um, next time we're in town we can stay a night or two there which is dope this place is so cool it has that underground 
like tunnel system where they have a body buried under there. I mean, this is crazy. So I already know I got a banger right there. Well, it's funny. A lot of times when I go on these trips, I have to do a lot of research to find places. And then I have to contact people to get permission for some of them. And things fall through. Things take a long time. I never experienced what happened today. How smooth. How yes, 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 yes. What amazing places I didn't know I was going to get to go to. So I'm going to tell you a few of them. As a matter of fact, if you guys see the thumbnail to this live stream, I put a picture of six of the locations we're going to. And it's pretty awesome. So it started off right in the beginning where I was just looking up places to stay. And I came across one that said that there is a mansion that you can rent that um, is extremely haunted. And I looked at the picture and I was like, oh, this place looks amazing. And they say it's haunted. I'm down. I call, speak to the guy. I spoke to him for over a half hour. Come to find out that paranormal investigators actually go there every week. Um, he says it's extremely active. And um, basically he said that he would be glad. Because I told him, I said, listen, man. Uh, I'd be glad to promote it for you and stuff, you know, hoping he'd be like, yeah, you can stay for free. And um, he was down. So he's like, stay a couple nights for free. He did say that, um, and I guess this is what really helped it, is he said that uh, earlier in the year, there was another YouTuber that came to film there. And he was supposed to film a paranormal investigation. But he goes, they were really disappointed because it ended up, he filmed like a jackass type of video. Like, what? <laughs> so I'm like, I definitely won't do that. So this place is amazing, guys. And he then he tells me that his friend that lives 30 minutes away, who happens to be, I don't remember his name because you guys may know him, um, but he's written some paranormal books and he's been on all, like almost like all the paranormal TV shows on the Travel Channel and stuff. He goes, um, he's got a place that is extremely active then I could probably get you in there. Bam! I now got three bangers, right? And it ain't even close to being done. So I got that done. Also, if there's, this is not a guarantee or anything. I'm just putting this out there. If there's any Indiana fams around here that um, basically live about an hour northwest of Indianapolis, that would be basically, I don't normally do this, but I was thinking about doing this. Because I would like to do a fan meetup and stuff, but I don't know how that all would work with everything going on. However, I asked the guy, do you have any extra rooms available still? And he told me that there's another paranormal group that's going to be there. But he said yes. And um, I said, okay, I might offer my fans that if anybody's around there and they want to come and um, basically spend the night with me and uh, me and Davros and, and, and film, uh, you know do paranormal investigation there cool stuff maybe i'll offer that um so i'm just throwing it out as an interest only and it would be for either i believe um either saturday sunday or monday night this coming saturday sunday or monday so if you're in that area um i think he said it's like 150 dollars um so let me know like email me in the description if you're interested in it because I need to know by like tomorrow and you know we'll see because I think it would be cool to film with some more fans so anyways that's that's that now the best part is yet to come so super excited Davros basically tells me bro do you remember when we were there I told you about the catacombs right did I tell you about the catacombs I can't remember because I was just vlogging I'm going to read your comments. Did I tell you about the catacombs? Because I told you about Slippery Noodle. I told you about that house. His friend's place. Yeah, I don't think I told you about the catacombs. Dude, there's an underground city underneath Indianapolis. When we went and did the meetup there, there was a Santa Claus. We took pictures. And he told us that there's, you know, this huge underground city. It's the catacombs. It's the Indianapolis catacombs. And, dude, I was like, what? This sounds so cool. And... Apparently, you can't just go there because the way to get down into the catacombs, there's a place called the Marketplace, and they have access through there. Well, I called a place that I've seen that did tours and stuff. 
talk to her and she's like yeah we're not doing tours right now but I can give you the contact information for the owners of the marketplace so I call start explaining everything you know and she's like well what are you trying to do <laughs> and I explain it to her and turns out she's like I'm down I'm down let's do it and uh, she's like when do you want to do it I'm like honestly I fly in on Friday I get in at like 2 o'clock um, why don't we do it like at 5 o'clock and she was like perfect so I'm like, oh my God, this is so great. This is working out so well. I already got four amazing places to film at. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Then I find out that on the way, because we're going to go to Davros's after a few days, there is a, a place called the Sheriff's Jail something, very haunted jail. Bam, I got that. And then there is a lunatic asylum. Like, I don't know if it's abandoned or, it is abandoned, but I think somebody owns it. We're getting into the lunatic asylum at 3 a.m. I mean, I got like six freaking bangers now. And uh, it's not even over. There's a few more. I'm going to leave that up to uh, either the vlog or when we get on this trip. So I had to live stream, guys, because I just had to let you guys know what is in store for this next week. Starting Friday, um, I know I have some trip sponsors here. So everything still stays the same in the description. I actually changed it from Connecticut to Indiana. And uh, we're going to do the same things. As a matter of fact, um, if you're new and I weren't here yesterday, basically what I said was I changed a little something where if you want to help with the trip or whatever, you don't have to. I mean, I'm, I'm already blessed enough, so I'm good. But uh, what I said was. Um, in the description of this video you guys can see there's a section where it says trip sponsors and there's two different like kind of things you can do so there's a link down here and also in the description for streamlabs.com slash something if you do a direct donation for any amount it could be a dollar doesn't matter um, I'm basically going to um, put you in every description and every live stream and every video for the next week and um, that's a lot of a lot of things or two weeks or whatever it is so that's a lot of stuff to be in there for the only thing I ask and the thing that I changed was if you have a YouTube channel okay like obviously everyone has a YouTube channel but if you have a YouTube channel with content you'd like people to maybe check out what you got what I want you to do is when you uh, fill out the donation thing you put a you know the amount and then ask for your name there can't be any spaces Put YT in front of whatever your YouTube name is. So that way, if it's like for the fam, I would put YT the fam. That way I'll take out the YT and I'll put YouTube at the fam. And if you want to put any other name, then I just put your name under a trip sponsor. That way, maybe some of you guys out there, you're bored, you know, you want to check out what else is out there, you can check out the description of all these different videos, and you'll see all the different YouTubers that are fams that you guys can check out, which I think is super cool. And, uh, yeah, I mean, where else can you advertise your channel on a bunch of videos and live streams for a dollar? You can't. But I think we should share the love, you know what I mean? And, you know, it does help me out with the trip because otherwise I wouldn't be going. <laughs> and so far, everything's going good. I got two free nights there. And uh, there is one place I want to try to stay at. I don't think they'll give it to me for free. But that would be fun if that works out. And uh, let's see what else. Um, I'm just super excited, man. Really, really excited. I'm going to be doing uh, live streams from some of these locations. Probably all the locations, either on YouTube or DLive. So that will be awesome. I'm going to be busting my butt to get videos out immediately. So I'm going to start filming Friday. My first video is probably going to drop Saturday. So that's how awesome that would be. Um, I do have a video uh, that I filmed uh, recently that is going to drop tomorrow. So that would be cool. And yeah, besides that, Chelsea, like I said, this haunted doll thing. Like we're going to do, she's going to do a live stream, I think at 10 o'clock. But check her channel for sure. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Also, tomorrow I'm doing, right after my video drops, I'm gonna actually do D-Life. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but you know, come over and we'll figure it out. Um, doing D-Life, yeah, so that's that's the good news, guys. Like, I thought it was gonna be super, super horrible. Trips canceled, I didn't know what to do. I mean, some of you guys even were nice enough to help 
like sponsor my trip. So it's like, what do I do? Like, no, I gotta just give, I should just give them their money back. And like, it just sucks, you know? Like, I'm not gonna be able to put out the content, but dude, like there's a couple good places to film up there. Oh, I didn't even tell you the crazy part. <laughs> I didn't even tell you the craziest part. So not only the whole COVID situation, right? But Lou tells me today that, dude, it's a good thing you didn't come anyways. I'm like, why? He's like, the governor also, last night, late last night, said that they're rolling back to stage one of the lockdowns. So you're not allowed out of the house after like 8 p.m. Dude, that would have sucked. I would have been up there and I can't leave after 8 p.m. I would have filmed no nighttime videos. It would have been a disaster. And look what ended up happening. Literally got blessed. Not to mention, I have some amazing fans that I met in Indianapolis. When we did all our fan meetups, Indianapolis was like the second highest amount of people that showed up there. And I definitely would like to try to figure some way to meet up with fans. Uh, just even if it's just for a little bit. So I'll let you know here soon if I can do that. And um, yeah, if you're in the area of, like I said, uh, it's like an hour to an hour and a half northwest of Indianapolis and yeah you're gonna be free either Friday Saturday or Sunday night and you want to book a room at this place I will welcome you to join us on our exploration I think it would be really cool and um, you guys know I always love uh, filming with people filming with you guys giving back in any way I can having you guys involved as much as I can you know I just I, I really appreciate the love that I always get from you guys and uh, I always want to find a way to, uh, you know, return it as much as possible. So thank you guys for uh, all the love. All right, I'm done talking now. I haven't read any comments. And uh, I'm going to read some now. <laughs> and, yeah, anybody that, yeah, I just seen somebody say, anybody that added a donation, a direct donation last night, I already added, excuse me, I already added you to the description. Oh, my God, I almost thought, I seen somebody say, I can't hear you. And I... Did it freeze? Did it freeze? Did it freeze? Did what freeze? I don't know. I'm not sure, but it froze. I would have frozen in Connecticut, and the, the weather is going to be awesome in Indianapolis. It's like 70s this week. Hey, Jenny, good to see you. Buffering? Uh-oh. I'm going to have to go over. Well, the internet box is right here. Oh, look at this. Is it still buffering, or are we good? bit laggy better now tell me if we're better now or no because the internet box steal one that's my homie i was just talking about yeah sl productions we'll meet up next time for sure brother so sorry man we couldn't do it i was really looking for i'm gonna go inside because yeah i was really looking forward to hanging out with you bro but this was definitely beyond my control so it was definitely a bummer and uh like i said earlier guys i was either gonna go to denver or Indianapolis, and uh, yeah, that, that. That's my life. Too. Oh, I think we were, maybe we're not now. I guess maybe that's just plants. I thought the computer would be cool here because like imagine working in the jungle, once these things grow up even higher, be pretty neat. So, yeah, so good. Wait, still lagging, no sound. Wait, what? Let's see, let me see. Let me test my internet really quick. It's good. We got 302 in upload speed. Sometimes I do have problems with the upload speed, though. Oh, God. No wonder. 1.6. Well, I hate it when it does this. Let me, let me, I'm going to pause it. You no, know, is that better? I can't believe freaking Comcast internet. They're horrible. I literally pay $100 a month for their best internet. And it does this from time to time. And then I'll call them and be like, yo, I'm getting a one megabyte upload speed. And they do something and all of a sudden it goes back up to 40. It's like, why, why does that happen all the time? Can you guys hear me? See me good? Also, did you guys hear anything I said? Did you guys... I mean, even if it was a little choppy, did you guys get everything I said for, for the most part? Because that would suck. All right, yes, you can hear me great. That's good. 
Take a chair, sit down, so you don't lose you. Yeah, Emma. Nothing? You didn't hear nothing? Wait, I'm getting yeps and nopes. <laughs> I'm getting yeah, no, yeah, no. Okay. Obviously, it lagged and stuff, but when I was telling you the whole story, did you guys understand the whole story? Yes, you understood 95% of the story, or no, I have to say it all over again. Comment down below. <laughs> Let me know. Watch out for the pool. I would fall right in the pool. Um, yes. No, no. Yes, 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 no. Yes, understood. Thank you for saying that, Stacy. Yes. Couple no's. Yes, 95%. Okay. I can, I'll give you guys a, somebody says repeat it. I'll do a quick version. Um, this is my quick version. Um, basically, I found out I had to take a COVID test to go to Connecticut. And they needed a 72, within 72 hours of the flight. Unfortunately, everybody that does COVID tests here is four to five days or three to four days, which means I wasn't going to get it done in time. And the rapid test was way too much money, so that wasn't going to happen, so I had to cancel the trip. Now, I guess I should do this more often. <laughs> um, I ended up booking a flight to Indianapolis, Indiana, that I'm leaving this Friday, but I'm staying way longer also, which would be cool. I'm going to go be meeting up with our fam, Davros, and he's going to drive me around. Big shout out to Davros. And wow, I was so amazed because it takes me a long time to put locations together, get permission for places. And I was blessed because we have the slippery noodle. We have the catacombs, which I got permission. I'm so excited about the freaking catacombs, underground catacombs at night. Can you imagine? Then I found a house that is extremely haunted, like very haunted. Paranormal YouTuber or paranormal ghost hunters are always there. And the guy said he's going to let us stay for free for a couple nights. And I was also thinking that if there's any fams that live, because I don't want to say exactly where it is, but uh, it's basically an hour to an hour and a half northwest of Indianapolis. So you can figure that out. If you're anywhere around that area or you can make it to that area, either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, um, I think they charge $150 a room. And... Um, you're welcome to do it. I might even be able to get you a discount. And also, you'll be able to do an investigation with us, which would be really cool. Um, I think they only have six rooms, though, or five rooms available. So if anybody wants to do that, you have to email me, like, tonight um, or maybe tomorrow. And in the description, my email is swish594 at gmail.com. All right, so that's that. And we got permission to film at some amazing places a lunatic asylum that's been abandoned sort of kind of um a jail a haunted jail and let's see what else what else what else what else oh yeah the catacombs slippery noodle and i got permission to film at three more places already so i already have like 10 places already set up and um i'm gonna probably film 20 videos while i'm out there so excited you know i really was upset today because I thought this really, really sucked, but I should know better, man. I should know better to never get upset because whatever's going to be is going to be. And uh, this ended up, like, I, I have the best feeling about this ever. Like, it's going to be one of the most epic trips we've ever had. So I'm excited. And then the last thing I think I mentioned was uh, the um, channel sponsors. So... I've been talking about the channel sponsor link down here. Like basically if you donate any amount, a dollar, whatever, I add every after every live stream, I add to the list of channel sponsors. The only thing I asked you to do that I changed is if you have a YouTube channel and you'd like me to list it there and promote it to the fam, all you have to do is type in YT for YouTube, YT, and then your channel name. Because on Streamlabs, when you donate, you can literally put any name you want. You just can't put any spaces. So basically, if you do it, put YT. If you don't put YT, then I just put you as a normal fam. So that's pretty dope. And yeah, I'm really excited. And I'll add you to all the live streams and videos, which would be really cool. Um, but I'm already blessed enough, so don't ever feel like you got to do something like that. And that's it. That's pretty much what it was. Short version. Yep. Yeah, I'm so excited, man. Like, you guys have no idea. 
and I did get a few donations. So let me just thank a couple of people really quick here. Um, Trisha, thank you so much for the super chat. Says so sorry to hear about your trip was canceled. It was really tough, man, but it it it, it really was working good. Sky Ridge deals donate a dollar. Thank you so much, Sky Ridge. Sherry, Sherry, oh, thank you so much, Sherry. She just became, oh my God, just became a trip sponsor. I appreciate that. However, your comment, I have some news. She says, sponsoring Indiana trip and hashtag dating with Davros 2.0. Unfortunately, there's no dating with Davros 2.0. There is, I mean, let's just say this. The only dating Davros is going to be me and his girlfriend. Yeah. Big, big congratulations to Davros and his girlfriend who is a fam of ours. And I don't know if she wants me to mention her or not on a live stream, so I ain't going to say it right now, but I definitely will um, when I talk to Davos or she tells me it's okay. But she's she might even be here right now. And uh, that's really cool. I'm so excited that literally dating with Davros, it actually worked. It, it actually worked. He's got a girlfriend. And they've been together for a while. Isn't that awesome? I think that's pretty freaking awesome. But Sherry, thank you so much. Oh, by the way, Sherry. Oh, I didn't even tell this other part. Maybe we can hang out, Sherry. Because remember that place that we went to that night, Sherry? And you met us there? We're going back there on this trip. Crap you not. We're going to Michigan, too. I, I forgot about telling you guys that. So, yeah, after we go to Davros' house, um, about a week later, Chelsea's going to be done with what she's working on. And it's going to be her birthday, guys. And her birthday is next Friday, the 13th, right? Friday the 13th. Wow, interesting. And um, what I decided to do was surprise her. Well, I didn't surprise her because she knows, but... I told her I was going to get her a plane ticket. So I'm going to be out there with a week with Davros. Then I'm going to fly Chelsea out. We're going to pick her up. Probably go film at some of the other places so she can get some good footage too from some of those places. But her mom lives in uh, Saginaw, Michigan. And it was only four hours away from Davros' house. Davros, a freaking nice guy that he is, said he'd be glad to take us and drive us up there for the day or stay overnight. Good hashtag good guy Davros. That's that's the new hashtag. Hashtag good guy Davros. Can I get it in the chat, please? Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's gonna get to see her mom, her neat um, and her uh, nephew, which she has not seen in forever, and she's tickled pink, and it's her birthday. Like, what the hell? That's so perfect. But anyhow, one of the places that we went um, when we first started hanging out, where I could say I actually fell for Chelsea in a sense even though I knew you know I couldn't whatever um I, I fought the feeling let's say but if I admit it into myself that's where I would have said I really started liking her but it, it was more of a friend but still anyhow I want to stay there for her birthday I think it would be amazing and also right next to there there's her elementary school or middle school which is abandoned and like it's an abandoned middle school and across the street is an abandoned elementary school and it's owned by people we know matter of fact sherry sherry and um rob michigan their man and maybe somebody else came and met us there last time um we're gonna go back and film there so literally this is literally the best blessing ever like she's so excited just everything all together worked out so freaking perfectly and uh, I have to change my ticket again, actually, because it was only going till fr uh, Thursday. I had to get back the day before her birthday. But now that I'm going to fly her out there, I got to change my ticket again. Hopefully, they don't charge me much, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah, man, just blessed, excited. I, I don't know what else to say. Um, also, I just seen another donation. Mr. and Mrs., like, wow, thank you so much for the direct donation. It says, my man, what's up? It sucks about the trip, but, well be safe it, it did suck at the time but now i know it. like this was meant to be this is a blessing and um yeah also i might be hiring an editor possibly 
we'll see. I, actually, I probably will be hiring an editor. And the reason I want to hire an editor is because you guys know that I struggle with all the different things that I do. Um, and editing is one of the difficult parts, most time consuming. My thinking is if I hire an editor, even though I like technically can't afford it, I can because what happens is instead of me uploading just a couple of videos a week, by having an editor, I can upload two or three times that amount, which will more than pay for the editor. So it really doesn't cost anything to do the editor. And then I can concentrate on going on trips and creating content and my other channel that I'll be starting soon. So I think that's going to be just amazing. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Because I know somebody would be like, Jane, how the hell are you going to hire an editor? You ain't got no money. Are you always broke? That's why. Because... You know what I'm saying? Like, if I get that many more videos up, it'll pay for itself. So I think that's going to be great because then I can literally start uploading four or five days a week and just concentrate on what I'm really good at, you know? So that's really exciting too. Yeah. But Mr. and Mrs., thank you so much again for the direct donation. That's really going to help. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put that toward... Um, that place I want to take Chelsea to for the night. Uh, Lost Minion, thank you so much. You're awesome. Can't wait to see videos. I'm so excited too. Ooh. Redneck Country Girl, what up? So are you coming back to Michigan? Yes, I am. Didn't meet the last time. Would be amazing. I will definitely keep you informed with that for sure. And matter of fact, the place we're going to is, or the place I want to go to is where, if you guys, I know my OGs will remember this, where when I first brought Chelsea over to the channel, she turned me into Jamie. She basically did makeup on me. And then at the end, I stood up and had a thong on. You guys probably remember that, some of you guys. That's where I am going to try to take her back to. And it would be super, super amazing. So the crazy thing about it is the first time I went there, I couldn't make a paranormal video, even though it's the probably the most haunted place I've ever been to and I couldn't make a video I'm not gonna explain why Chelsea made a video but I was not allowed to make a video there well there's something really 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 crazy happened and um, I'm excited to go back because they basically were saying how it's not haunted they didn't want anyone to say it's haunted but they're covering it up let me tell you they are covering it up and I'm gonna expose it it's crazy okay they had this photo album right and inside this photo album there's a picture of the front of the house now I don't think they were even aware of this but if you look at the bottom of the door like right here in this area there is a little girl's face and it's not a real girl just standing there it is a little girl's face it tripped us out so much do you know what tripped us out even more the same face that was in that picture, like a ghost picture, like a ghost inside that, there was a painting on the wall of the same girl because she used to live in the house. I crap you not. You can see this in Chelsea's video. Now, you think that's crazy enough. It got 10 times crazier because we basically freaked out because we started hearing like this cabinet shaking and stuff. So we went back up to our room. We come back down and there's nobody there. We actually were the only people in the place. We had the whole place to ourselves. It was amazing. That's why we did the makeup thing all over the place and stuff. Well, we go back 30 minutes later because we still couldn't believe it. We did some EVPs up there, got some crazy answers. We got her name. We go back, open up the photo album. The picture is not there. And I'm like, wait a minute, something's wrong. Did we stick it behind another picture? Did it fall? Like. 30 minutes we're racking our brains trying to figure out what the frick where did this picture go this is not possible yeah it's not possible i call my buddy lou lou rock who is supposed to go to see in connecticut and we started hearing all these whispers so i put him on speaker so he could get it and listen to his headphones and he was freaking out telling us what was going on and i'm sitting here the whole time i'm not even allowed to film this crap so we never found the picture. We never found it. It was freaking gone, man. Like, I don't know how it could have been gone, but it was gone. And that, that was it. That's the place I want to go back to in Michigan. And, uh, yeah, take Chelsea, too. It's 
very expensive. Well, I want to say it's very expensive, but it's expensive. But um, honestly, considering I already got two nights for free at this other place, I can stay at Davros. Um, I, I, I'm going to be able to make it work. I mean, you guys have, you know, helped me out quite a bit, honestly. You know, which will help me pay for Chelsea's ticket for her birthday, which is super dope. And Chelsea's so sweet. She's so, like, she's so selfless. Like, she's like, James, like, don't buy me anything for my birthday. I know we don't have money. Like, don't spend any money. And that just what? That just makes you want to go out and do something more, right? And the sad part is, Chelsea has never had a birthday party. Ever. Like, as she was growing up, she never had a birthday when she was um a teenager when she was uh the person she was with before she never had a birthday party never celebrated her birthday how is that possible i am so sorry about that i was so into it i did not realize my battery died sorry but i plugged it in now so we are good sorry about that did not know it. i think i was saying um yeah, she never celebrated her birthday, and um, I think, like, even her saying, don't get me anything, you don't have to do anything, she's just so used to that, you know, I think she's just accepted that, you know, it's sad, <laughs> so, um, I think her coming out, doing that, didn't go into Michigan, where she used to live, freaking just awesome, and... You know, then on top of that, we're going to go stay at that place, which is going to be very, like, for, especially for me, and I know for her too, but it's going to be very um, sentimental is the best word. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to come up with a really cool idea to do something. Maybe we can even have, like, a surprise birthday party live stream for her um, or something like that. Um, yeah, we'll see. I think that would be pretty dope. Um and then I have an idea in my head for a really cool thing that I know she would love. And um, I have to do a lot of work to do that. So we'll see. I am going to vlog this whole trip. So that's the cool thing. You guys are going to see all the behind the scenes stuff and what happens. So yeah, this is blessing, guys. Like I'm getting to do the trip that I really, really wanted to do. And even though Chelsea couldn't come, now she's able to come just a week later. And... The day before her birthday, gets to see her mom, um, get to go back to her old schools, and uh, get to go stay at this place. Like, man, just a true blessing. And um, I want to make sure she has, like, the most memorable birthday ever. So, yeah, let me read some of you guys' comments. Ninja Party, that's a dope, dope, dope thing. For sure. Oh, wait. Come on. Oh. Come on, Valentino. You got me, yo. He said, James, no sound. Uh, nope, she deserves the best. For sure. Tell her to check her P.O. box. Oh, that's awesome, Mama Page. Actually, um, I was going to even mention this, too. Um, I'm going to do my D Live live stream tomorrow. And we um, Chelsea is really, really tired. And she felt like she couldn't drive over there. So I said, it's fine. We'll just do it tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to get the mail tomorrow, and I'm probably going to open it on DLive. Because um, I've, I've been live streaming way too much. I, I wasn't really planning on live streaming today on YouTube anyways. It's like 30 Thank you. Ago. So, yeah, I'm going to just do it on DLive tomorrow. Um, and, well, honestly, I think some of the packages are for Chelsea for her birthday, which is really cool. So um, she'll open it on her channel. <laughs> And I'm making Chelsea vlog too on this trip, which I think is cool. She's just going to come a week later. So all you're going to get is me, and then you're going to get some of her. But, yeah. Oh, BWIA, that's really nice of you. She said, check PayPal. That's, you, you always just support us way too much and too sweet. That's really, really nice of you. Wow. Um, I, I think I probably know what you're going to say, <laughs> and um, I'm sure she'll really appreciate it, or how are you, yeah, redneck cut girl, sky rich, what's up, there you are, man, say, guess we'll have to change it to dating with sky rich, oh, wait a minute, wait a second, sky rich deals is single, how did I not know this, no, it is sky, sky rich deals, 
dating with Skyrich DLC 3.0. Is Skyrich? I can't even talk. Is dating with Skyrich deals? What do you guys think, ladies? Skyrich, ASL, age, sex, location. What you got? Put it out there. Put them. Put them numbers out there. Very successful. Has his own business. Very, very cool guy. Good fam. Oh man, you just opened up a can of worms that you's gonna regret because them women's gonna be jumping all over you now. All right. You asked for it. Wait till I get with Davros. Because Davros is going to take everything that he learned from dating with Davros. Because it worked for him. And he succeeded. And he's going to give you some advice. And uh, maybe you won't make the same mistakes he did in the beginning. <laughs> but I like that, man. Skyrich, that's that's freaking banger, bro. I love that. So we're going to have a new dating. Now we got to find Skyrich someone. Justin says, love your videos, James. Would love to join next time you're in Florida. I live in Florida, man. I'm always in Florida. Always in Florida. Like Fort Pierce area. Stephanie Ferrate says here, some money for the trip. I appreciate that. Okay, cool, Stephanie. Yeah, and I was really hoping to see you too, Stephanie. But obviously, I'm not going to be able to come anywhere close to New Jersey. Um, but yeah, after this whole crap stuff is over, we'll definitely make it work. So appreciate that so yeah guys i'm excited i'm gonna vlog like what i'm gonna try to do for chelsea and if i can pull it off it's gonna be really amazing and uh yeah it's really gonna be cool so i'm really excited super excited but yeah i see sherry sherry there sherry um yeah if you want to come sherry um i think that would be cool i just need to see like when we'll be there because i know the one night it's going to be like, you know, romantic me and Chelsea at the place. And uh, I know probably the next night we're going to do the the schools. And we still have to get to the bottom of where that tunnel is. You remember that? So it'd be cool to see um, Sherry. I haven't seen her in a couple of years. So dope, 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 dope. Hey, Michael, thank you for subscribing. Alicia, what up? Ghost Mafia. Ghost Mafia. He, Davros was just telling me about Ghost Mafia today. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always hanging out with Ghost Mafia. I'm like, what? Ghost Mafia is there too? Well, why don't we see if he... And he's like, no, I'm out on live stream. <laughs> I'm like, you clickbaiter. Big shout out to Ghost Mafia. Emma says, gosh, and thank you. You scared me. Love you too, Hillary. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Raptors Adventures. What's up, Amber? Raptors hit ventures is in the house. Beverly Horn, what's good? Razmeen. Hillary. Oh, thanks for putting my Instagram there, Razmeen. That's a new one. My Instagram link, yeah. James, hey, I got some paranormal happened to me today at the hospital. Oh, dope. That sounds uh, like it'd be exciting. So, um, what's I going to say? Oh, so I, I think I pretty much have locations covered for indiana because oh my god like i already said i got 10 places already and i'm gonna get another 10 places but the places that i have you know it's, here's the funny thing and i say this a lot i'll go and i'll go filming and get some stuff filmed and three or four will be five star bangers and then like two or three or four will be like three star bangers you know and a lot of those i never end up putting out Dude, every place I have set up is a five-star banger. Freaking Slippery Noodle, freaking Catacombs. Like, this house, which I can't tell you about, but if I, you actually knew more about it, like, one of the pictures is the house on the thumbnail. You guys would freak, and you are going to freak. I'm going to do a live stream there, too, um, which is dope. And, uh, yeah, the jail... The Haunted Asylum. How long has it been since I've been to an abandoned hospital? Abandoned asylum. That's going to be cool. Um, and Davros said there's none of that's even by where Davros lives. And then Davros tells me he's got a ton of stuff over where he lives, which we haven't even, I don't even know what it is yet. I'm going to wait and let him surprise me. And then on top of that, we're going to go to Michigan, go to the most haunted house I've ever been to that I never got to film. And there's two abandoned schools there. This is going to be an epic trip, guys. And like I said, like, I, I, I appreciate you guys just, you know, bearing with me 
because you know I took this mini trip to Orlando I had a couple good videos I put them out I have a couple more videos but I feel like they're three star bangers not five star bangers and I, I just I feel like I I need to bring the heat you know what I mean it's time that we bring the bangers back and um I feel like I've totally accomplished that with this trip and I'm so excited so freaking excited it's gonna be good and like I said I'm gonna be live streaming on YouTube from these locations and again how long has it been since we like well I did not too long ago but since we did a bunch of live streams from new haunted locations and that's the cool thing you guys have never seen these places these are all brand new locations except for slippery noodle they're all brand new locations so it's gonna be super cool some are abandoned like almost half of them are abandoned which is cool so bringing that back I'm gonna be filming videos all by myself so all alone and with Davros and then when Chelsea gets there with her so I'm gonna have all different kind of stuff to do just excited you know and then uh, of course we got our D live three days a week so I'll be doing that from the different places as well and yeah I'm gonna shut up now and read the rest of your comments <laughs> Yeah, anyone here from Oklahoma? And uh, yeah, again, if uh, I just uh, as a feeler, not a thing, if there is anybody that lives in or can make it to an hour and a half northwest of Indianapolis um, and you want to book a room at this place, email me. I can give you the information. And uh, you're welcome to hang out with Davros and I and uh, do a paranormal investigation. The guy says it's extremely haunted. It's been actually on some um, ghost TV shows. And again, I don't want to give too much information out, but uh, that'd be really dope. Really excited to do that for sure. What's up, Cindy? What's up, Mr. And Mrs.? Again, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Get a promise ring. I got her a promise ring. I got her a promise ring. I gave it to her not that long ago, maybe like a couple months ago. So she has it. She's got a promise ring. She don't wear it every day, but that's okay. She doesn't like to wear jewelry all the time because like she always, the person that's got to take it off before things and then beg because it'll swell her hands. So she only wears it on occasions that she, you know, needs it to. But I definitely think we should have a birthday party like online for Chelsea. I think that would be dope. What's this COVID test? Oh yeah, if anybody's joining us late, Basically, the I guess I should change the name of the title because I guess it sounds like I have COVID or something, which I didn't really realize at the time. But um, no, I, I had to cancel my original trip to Connecticut because they were requiring me to take a, t a COVID test and I had to get the results back before I get on the plane. And that's impossible because it takes three or four days to get the results or I'd have to pay $250 for a rapid test. But it was a blessing because the governor basically... Um, put a put it put the uh, state on lockdown starting this Friday. It's on lockdown. You cannot go out between the hours of I think it's eight to five a.m. So that literally would have meant I would have been stuck inside and wouldn't have been able to film nothing, and it would have been a freaking disaster. So things happen for a reason, and man, I'm just blessed, just totally blessed, so happy. And I had to share it with you guys. I couldn't stand it. I, I vlogged it and everything, but I was like, man, I got to tell them. Especially because you guys were looking forward to me going tomorrow. So the new trip is going to be on Friday. Razmin says, Skyridge deals, you are next for a girlfriend. I agree. Oh, wait till I tell Chelsea that. Matter of fact, I should just tell her now, but I'm going to let my phone charge for a minute. It's only 3%. Licensing title had me worried. Oh, I'm sorry about that, BSB. I'm going to actually, as soon as I end this, I'm going to change the title. I didn't even, I didn't even realize, uh... Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Put a one in the chat if you thought I actually had um, Corona or something. And, oh, I guess because of, I get it, canceling the, oh, uh, like, babe? That's just a dog. Oh, hey, I got to tell you something. So, um, you know how there's no more dating with Davros? Yes. We have a new dating with, and, and this is like such the perfect 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 opportunity perfect everything okay and they came up with the idea oh, no. okay. dating with sky rich deals oh, yeah. that's what i said yeah, oh, yeah. yes now that is, I do that. i'm promoting that every now. And I, you know what 
I know Davros right now is probably sitting there laughing and saying, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> we got to get the, we got to get the social medias for uh, going there. And uh, then the ladies can send a picture and in, uh, in, uh, ASL, you know. ASL. ASL, age, sex, location. That was like a 90s thing. <laughs> um, Kelsey, actually, that is a very good possible. Um, um, I know it's a very good possibility. Um, we can probably meet up with you, Kelsey, at least for like lunch or something, or maybe we can um have you come to one of the um like slippery noodle or something. I'll, I'll see, but I'll I'll, uh, I'll DM you or you can DM me, because I know you and Chelsea would uh, be cool to hang out. That'd be so fun. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause we have a lot of good fams, man, in in the uh, Indiana area. Yes, I'm gonna get back to school. Babe, are you excited to go see your mama? Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, day after your birthday, She's or day of your birthday. I'm cry. Wait, are you gonna fly out Thursday or Friday? I don't know. So you'll probably get there your birthday or the day before. I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. Oh, by the way, I thought of one more thing. You know who I gotta get in contact with? The guys that own the two, the elementary and middle school. Yes. Gotta go back to that. I don't know. But Davros, if you're watching, we might have to stay two days in Michigan because. Uh, Davros, you're moving in, basically. Yeah. If we can, I'm, as long as they still have those places. Like that would be dope because those 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 abandoned schools were awesome. And didn't you go to one of the yes, the middle school? I went to both. You went to both of those schools, yes. dude. That's creepy. It was weird being bad. You have to show me your classrooms and stuff next time. Yeah, I'll show you. And we have to find the hidden tunnel that we never found last time. Yes. Well, it was weird being back, and something I never. Talked I think about. Sherry found it actually, but yeah. Yeah, there's something I never talked about in the video either, and I'm mm -hmm. curious because I didn't do it. Yeah. Because I was like scared. So there's a kid that died when I went to school there. Uh -huh. And he's really cool with everybody. He was a really, really sweet kid, really funny. And um, it was just, it was really sad for all of us, you know? So I, I was thinking maybe we could try to see if we can contact him. Mm -hmm. some or something. Yeah. I just never mentioned it in the video. It was weird. I was having like flashbacks. The whole time we were filming our video. Wow, yeah. You know? Hmm. It was just weird. Babe, I got to change my title of this live stream as soon as this ends. I didn't realize, like, because I said, I, I put um trip canceled. Mm -hmm. And then I put, um I meant to put because of COVID test. But I put, um wait, what did I put? COVID? I don't even know what I put. Uh, oh, due to COVID test. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't think about that, but it kind of sounds like my trip is canceled because of my COVID test oh. results or something. Yeah. I didn't think of And, like, a couple of people thought that. I feel really bad. Yeah. So I need to change that. I didn't even think about that. No, I didn't either. So yeah. it went right over my head. Well, hey, All right, All right bye, baby. Bye. Hey, babe. What time's your live stream tonight? Chelsea! She just done dipped, didn't she? Don't make me go get her part. Hey. Oh, 10 o'clock? Okay. So 10 o'clock, guys. And if you're joining us late, Chelsea is going to take the haunted doll in the attic. And for the very first time since we've ever seen the doll, she's going to take the doll, and she's terrified of that thing. She's going to take the doll out of the attic, bring it into the house, or maybe out here would be better. Do a spirit box session with it. And then she needs your help because we need to give the doll a name. Patty's going to be coming to get the doll soon, and we need a name for the doll. Now, there has been a couple of names that we've heard on spirit boxes. And uh, I just want you guys to help pick out the name tonight. So join Chelsea and myself on her channel, Chelsea Luna, at 10 p.m. Yeah. And go show her some love. What's up, Barbara R? My favorite Bostonian. Is that what they say it? Barbara R, what's up, Paranormal Side? I was hoping to see Barbara R, too, on the Connecticut trip. But, oh, that kind of sucks, but I'll be back there. Much love, Barbara R. Oh, Barbara, I'm glad you're on here. It reminds me, I forgot. 
You're the one person I forgot to actually add to the uh, the trip sponsor list because she sent a direct donation off live stream, which was so sweet of her. Big shout out to Barbara R. And um, sorry, I forgot to add you to the trip sponsor list, but I will add you right after this while I also change the name of this live stream. James, you're the best. Indiana boys, Nick, you're the best, yo. And I see you in Indiana. I see that. That would be, uh, I, man, I, I'd like to do an official fan meetup in Indiana, but I got to find out, like, what the deal over there is. The frick was that? That was weird. Um, because, like, last time we did a meetup, it was at a mall. And tons of people go to the mall. So I don't see, I don't, I don't think there'd be a problem if we had a meetup there. People had to wear a mask. Uh, it was at the mall. And... We, no one gets too close to each other. Normally, we're big huggers, but if we did it, we wouldn't be able to hug, which would be really suck, but we'll give, a, like, you know, air hugs, <laughs> you know? So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll be able to do that. I, I really would like to. I just, I don't want to, you know, cause any issues. So I have to figure out the legalities, and is that something I should do or maybe I shouldn't do? I, I don't know. I'll find that out. And, um, yeah. That's also why I thought about seeing if any fans wanted to join me on a Haunted Explorer Friday, Saturday, or Sunday night. Because um, that would be kind of cool, but you'd have to book your, your, your hotel room. So, yeah. Email me if you want to do that. And then if not, if I don't hear from anybody... Oh, I have this backwards the whole time. What a dodo head. <laughs> and if not, I'm just going to... Just live stream this stuff from there would be cool. Remember, they went to the catacombs, I believe. I've never been to a catacombs. I had some fans went to a catacombs when we were in um, Baltimore. And uh, I wanted to go so bad, but we were so tired. Ask the doll what his name is. Oh, we will. We definitely will. But um, we need the whole consensus. I'm taking ideas for how to prank James, so message me. <laughs> oh, Davros. Okay. Davros definitely is going to need help figuring out how to prank James. Trust me, because... This ain't like I'm not going to prank Davros the whole time. <clears throat> Davros, you just started a prank war. Congratulations. You didn't think I was going to see your comment? I saw your comment, and it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Okay, that's it. Time to prank Davros. So we're going with, instead of dating with Davros, it's pranking, to, pranking Davros and dating with Skyrish deals. I love it. I love it. My life is complete. I mean, what a perfectly crazy day today, but everything worked out super, super well. Michaela, thanks for being here. Paranormal Magic. Elizabeth, Blue 1010. Turtle the Fab, what's good, bro? Gary, what's good? Sarah. Oh, I'm excited. So I think this is what I'm going to do, guys. I think I'm going to probably let you guys go. I really was not going to live stream today, like I said. But with everything that happened, I had to tell you, obviously, but, dude, this trip is going to be so cool, and I am going to work my ass off on this trip. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to live stream on YouTube and DLive. I'm going to be filming nonstop bangers, and um, it's time we uh, resurrect this channel back to its good glory. And I did tell you guys, like, the end of last year, we're going to end the year off in a good fashion and we did and this year we're going to end this fashion this fashion we're going to end this year off with nothing but straight bangers literally at least every other day you know i know you guys probably feel the way i do i've been i, I like to watch youtube and then i go on youtube lately and there's never like much to watch you know you watch a couple people they put out a video here and there and then there's just not much more to watch. You know, it's not like you can just spend hours on, on YouTube like it used to be. There's so much content. And I get it. And um, I'm going to change that with you guys. We're going to bring out the really good bangers. And I mean, every freaking one is going to be on the edge of your seat crazy. Because these locations are nuts. And um, I've told you guys this many times. I'm not that YouTuber that basically puts out videos lots and lots of videos 
at any old location I can find uh, locally or places that aren't haunted and just make it super entertaining. I know a lot of people on YouTube do do that. Um, and I guess there's nothing really wrong with that. I mean, you know, to each their own, I guess. But there's a reason why my channel has, you know, not grown as much, not got as many views lately. And it's obviously because I just haven't been able to put out those great videos, great content. Like, for me to get crazy paranormal videos, you have to go travel and go to these real freaking places and do a lot of homework and find them. And um, you obviously see with my channel the last year, I just, I, I, I'm never going to be that person that's going to be like, you know what, I'll just go and film over here and over here and over here and over here and just say this place is haunted. It's never going to be me. I mean, if that's the easy way, that's the easy way. That's the way you can do it to be easy. And you know what's funny? A lot of those people, it's crazy, but they succeed because people just believe everything and like think, wow, every video is super crazy and there's really not even known places ever, you know, but, um, we do things right here, guys. We don't, we don't, uh, you know, we, uh, we is real every single which way, and I'll never change that, guys. Even if it hurts my channel, like it has this year, that's okay. Because it's not about my ego. It's not about, you know, making money. It's not about getting new subscribers. It's about fan love, man. It's about love. It's about positivity. It's about me hoping to inspire you for you to inspire someone else. And that literally is the definition of fan love and um, can't do that bullshit people, you know what I mean? So I appreciate the love and uh, we're going to kill it, man, on this trip. I'm so freaking excited. So I hope you guys are too. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock, which is in like three and a half hours. So make sure you're on Chelsea's live stream later, guys, because I'm really curious what's going to happen with this doll. Especially what happened the other day where part of our freaking ceiling fell down in the it's the other part of the attic where the doll was like 10 feet away The whole thing literally collapsed. It hit me. I My ankle was so swollen last night And I don't think it's I don't actually think it actually hit me I thought it hit me But I think what happened was I freaked out and I twisted back and I twisted my ankle because my whole ankle was swollen last night But this morning it was good. So I don't know but yeah, I'm really curious and I'm kind of nervous about taking the doll out of the attic. I've never done that. So, some crazy stuff. What's that? Pumpkin, what is that? What the fuck was that? Did you all hear that? Um, what the? Babe, you out here? Is Chelsea out here? That's got, is that, please tell me Chelsea's out here. Because something just hit my leg. Babe. She's got to be out here. You, wait, what? No, wait. I'm really freaking out for real. Pumpkin. What, what the fuck? Wait, is, I am so confused right now. I need to see if Chelsea's in the house. Or if she's messing with me because there's... You guys heard that, and then I walk over here and I get hit with something in the leg. It was almost like a little seed or ball. It's gotta be Chelsea, babe. Yeah. I thought I is this what? So there was a noise right here, really loud, and then Pumpkin went running over there. She's right here. She went running over there going crazy. And then, this is as I'm talking about the freaking doll. And then all of a sudden, something hits my, my ankle. Like, I swear it was like a seed or a ball. Something small. And then I, it hit me and I kind of freaked out. But then I'm like, wait, that's got to be you. There's nothing over there. What is Pumpkin barking at? Dude, did you guys... It's so freaking... It's so freaking dark. I don't think you guys even... 
Dude, I literally was just talking about the doll, babe, and how, oh my god, babe, I have a bet. I was just talking about the doll, how I, the thing collapsed over here, and then that happened as I'm talking about the thing collapsing. I'm Dude, you should really be terrified now, because now I'm terrified. Dude, I don't know if, like, I don't know if what we're going to do is a good idea. Uh, I think, I'm, it's blurry, yeah. Um... Dude, it's so freaking trippy. And we have a screen in patio. It's not like something could, like, a. Something could fall from the fucking tree or something. And let me show you before I let you guys go. Like, this is what happened. This is what happened. Oh my god. This is what happened. I was standing here with Lou the other day. Or I was on the phone with Lou over here. And all of a sudden, I hear a boom, boom. And basically. This piece fell in the whole surrounding thing area. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to like get a nail gun and put this back up. The whole thing came down. Literally, as I was talking, babe, I was talking about the doll to Lou when that happened. Dude, I am not playing around. The doll is 10 feet that way. That is freaky as hell. Babe, I mean, like, okay. Been talking about taking this, I don't want to say it, but taking the you know what out of the you know what today. And, um, I don't know. I, I would normally say, am I tripping outside? I heard a noise. Pumpkin went running over there. I went, it almost makes me think somebody like literally opened the thing, the door, and threw something at me. Because something definitely hit me on my ankle. Like, 100%. Like, it didn't hurt or anything, but something hit me on the ankle. The only other thing it could have been is, like, pumpkin could have been running, and then there was, like, a seat or something on the ground, and Paul pushed it up and hit me in the ankle? That doesn't even seem right. I'm trying to, like, rule it out, because, listen, I'm, I'm saying, I don't want paranormal activity in my house. Like, it's okay when I'm out somewhere, because I can leave. But when stuff goes crazy inside your own house, it ain't fun. It, it, it literally, like, freaks me out a hundred times more. And Chelsea's got this bright idea to take the doll out of the attic today, tonight, and do a spirit box. I, I don't know. I just got a bad feeling about tonight. So, yeah, definitely uh, come to Chelsea's live stream tonight. It's probably going to be insane. I guess 10 o'clock, Chelsea Luna. And I'll see you guys there. Holy crap, man. That... I don't even know what you guys saw, what you didn't see, but I, I know something just freaking happened, and I can't even explain it. Oh, uh, thanks, Kayla. So I love this channel. I love you. You are the best. All my fans is the best. I would take you guys over anything all day. I don't know what the hell the noise was. I really don't. I have no freaking idea. If I have a light right here somewhere, I will literally go out and see if we can see anything, but... I didn't see nothing. And I got kept getting scared because like I felt like Chelsea was gonna pop out and get me or something. Um But it's too dark, I couldn't see anything. Dang, I have a freaking baseball bat light somewhere. I don't know where the hell I went to. Hmm. Well I don't know guys. But I got to change the title of this live stream too right now. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I will uh, let you know if anything else happens when Chelsea starts her live stream. But I love you guys. And I will see you guys at 10 o'clock. Don't be late. Because you might miss everything. Bye, guys. Love you. But bring on the bangers. Yes, we're going to bring on the bangers.